think in January or February or March of 87. I forget what it was. I used to always, um, when I got in Warrant, I always promoted the band as much as possible, and I would call everybody I ever met on the planet, <laughs> trying to get as many people out there. So I, I don't know how, you know, back way back then, I don't know how we stayed in communication. We he always tried to get a hold of me. He'd call I'm trying me to or... get him to come out to see Warrant play, and he never would. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, long I'm a story bit of an short, asshole. he was studying. <laughs> well, fast forward real quick. 1986, Adam and Max quit the band, so we need a new singer. Jerry and I and Josh are like, we're not gonna stop Warrant because those two guys just quit, and we had just spent two years with those guys, solid playing and, and building up the name a little bit in LA. So, well, the first singer we thought of was this band we played two shows with called Plain Jane and Janie Lane was a singer for that band. We just thought was, we were real impressed with him as a singer and a front man and, and everything. So we're like, let's give him a call. And long story short, we got a hold of him. His band had just broke up. He said, I'll join your band, but it's a package deal. Steven's got to be in the band too. Because we were looking at a different drummer. We had another drummer in mind already. And we're like, all right, so that sounds good. And, and they sing like two birds and it was a cool thing, so. Those guys joined the band. We did about a year with those guys, with Josh in the band, and Josh just wasn't working out. So he wasn't working out. We were gonna get a new singer, and why is people laughing? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Man, he's, Come he's on really in, messy, Jerry. man. Come on in, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> been, talk, been talking about you, man. We're, Say hi, Jerry. We're, we're talking. Doing to... an, we're doing an interview. Hi. <laughs> Long story short, we needed a guitar player, and uh, we, you know, basically, hey, Eric, go find a guitar player, because I'm the uh, guitar player. He, he, you know, kind of fell in my lap a little bit. We were all involved, and ran into Joey on Sunset Strip one night, right in front of Gil Turner's, I think Doheny and Sunset. What a great there. place to meet, you know, your lead guitarist. <laughs> <The> liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunset Strip, like, hey, dude, we're looking for a guitar player. And all right, let's go get us some Jack and go in and check this band out. I he's think like, we were... all right. I forget what you said exactly, but uh, got his number and we got together and and jammed. And he auditioned. He played uh, what did he play? Down Boys and uh, a song called Fatal, Fatal Attraction. Attraction yeah. yeah, never made it to a record. Cool tune. Those two, I think, and then maybe a few more. We learned <laughs> a lot because basically, I took. They were huge in L.A. at the time. You know, Warrant was as far as a club band. And I'd, I moved up to L.A. and I was auditioning. You know, I'd made that move from Irvine to L.A. So I did what he did, but I was like three years or two years after him, whatever it was. And I auditioned for a bunch of bands and everyone. I got in a few, but they were just a, they were a nightmare, so to speak. And uh, when I saw him, I'm like I'm jumping at it. And we jammed for a few weeks before my audition. I learned as much as I could and, and auditioned at a little place called Mate's Rehearsal or Mate's Studios, whatever yeah. he calls it, um, which is still there, which is a very... Bobby Mates. Cool. Bobby Bruner, yeah. Very cool place. And he brought some beers and some cigarettes. I, I still, I still, yeah. I had a job. I was probably one of the only guys in the band with a job, you know? So I got some booze and some cigarettes. I was in.